Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So the Insider program received a brand new Canary Channel build late yesterday in my region, build 27842. So just a quick overview as to some of the key highlights that have made their way into this early preview release. Now, first of all, Microsoft says it's beginning to re-roll the improved battery iconography in Windows 11 out to Windows Insiders with this latest Canary Channel build. And this is something that's kind of gone backwards and forwards a little bit in the Insider program. Seems there's been a couple of issues, so seems that Microsoft is starting to rework, as they say, the new iconography. And just a quick recap, it basically takes on different colors for different power states. I have posted on this previously quite in depth, so just a quick um, overview. And the big one here is you've got your battery power percentages. So how much percentage of your battery is left, and I think that's a very significant change. So that's once again entering into testing. And there's another big change um, for the dreaded blue screen of death, which is now becoming the dreaded green screen of death, where Microsoft says it's previewing a new, more streamlined user interface for unexpected restarts, which is basically a stop error or a blue screen of death, or in this case, a green screen of death which better aligns with Windows 11 design principles and supports getting users back into productivity as fast as possible. Microsoft mentions that they basically simplified the whole um, user interface while preserving the technical information on the screen. So your device ran into a problem and needs to restart. So you've got your percentage. And then right here at the bottom, there's a stop code, which is a stop error. And as you've, yeah, you've actually got what the actual error is. And you can also search online for that if you need more information. And Microsoft says that as a reminder for Windows Insiders, this appears as a green screen, as we can see. And this is currently rolling out to Insiders in the Beta Dev and Canary channel. So it's basically across the board. And I think with the blue screen with a whole lot of different information and a sad face, so to speak. If you weren't that tech savvy, it could be a little bit drastic and you know, could make you feel a little bit like, okay, something really bad's happened here. So I think Microsoft's goal with a green screen is to kind of just calm the whole process down when it comes to a stop error. So I think this will eventually um, roll into Windows 11. I think it's a given. This is now being tested across the board. And Microsoft says that it's starting to roll out a change again. So this is something they've been testing previously, pulled it, and now it's coming back again. A change in the Windows Security app, where if we head over to Device Security, Security Processor, on this page, um, there will be more details such as manufacturer and manufacturer version for Pluton TPM chips. If your PC has one under device security, security processor details. And here's another small significant change where Microsoft is bringing more mouse properties over from the legacy control panel and adding them into the more modern settings menu where they're starting to make more mouse related settings available directly under settings without needing to go into control panel. And this includes the settings for mouse indicator, as we can see, mouse pointer trails, enable mouse pointer shadow, and further mouse behavior and pointer customization, as Microsoft puts it from the release notes. So I actually think this is a small yet significant change, bringing a lot of those mouse properties over. And then I'm just going to mention the next two because there are deprecations where Microsoft mentions that support for the Visual Studio Graphics Analyzer's shader debugging feature is being removed. In this build, attempting to use it may crash Visual Studio or the analysis session. And then here's a big one I have mentioned previously, where Microsoft says it's removing the bypass nro.command script, which is basically the script that was used to bypass setting up Windows 11 with a Microsoft account and using a local account. So this will cause debate. And I've touched on this quite in depth, but just a quick recap. So they're removing that from the build to enhance security according to Microsoft and user experience of Windows 11. 
This change Microsoft mentions ensures that all users exit setup with internet connectivity and a Microsoft account. So Microsoft really intent um, in getting Windows 11 users to use a Microsoft account and not a local account. So guys, other than that, we get fixes. It is Canary Channel, so there are issues, issues to sort out. And then because it is Canary Early Preview Build, we get a couple of known issues and that's expected in this early preview release. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.